Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a few Christmas uh, ornament DIYs for you. Um, so the first one I'm going to do here is this part of my nails actually, by the way, I just got them taken off and I'm going to get them redone soon. Um, but the first one we're going to do is this uh, deer kind of rustic-esque ornament. I picked this up at Michael's and I believe I got it for about a dollar and twenty cents. So I'm just going to sand it first. As you can see the edges are kind of rough. So I have just this um, sandpaper I guess that my fiance brought home from work because I didn't want to go buy some. I'm just going to uh, smooth out the edges a little bit. Okay. So, I'm just going to... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, cryon. I got this at Walmart. It's just a gold spray paint. Just because my tree theme this year, minus my random ornaments, is kind of gold and red. So I'm going to... I did put something down, but I'm really scared because my surface... I'm just doing this on my desk. I should be doing it outside. Um, but I'm going to just do it here. Hopefully it'll work. I'm just going to spray spray this lovely guy. And the first one I'm going to do actually is cut off the twine. Now the next type of ornament we're going to work on is just these glass balls here. Um, okay guys, so these, I got four of them I believe at Michael's for like two dollars or maybe it was four dollars for four of them. Um, so the first type I'm just going to do is actually I'm going to put Mod Podge all over, just the Mod Podge all over the outside and then I'm going to cover it in glitter. Um, I'm just going to grab my cardboard piece or another cardboard piece. Um, yeah, so I just grabbed my same cardboard piece. This is dry on the cardboard, so, um, and I'm just going to paint it with Mod Podge. And the glitter I'm going to use is, I think I'm going to make like a red and white sparkle one. So these are just by Recollections and a big set I got. So let's get started. so it stays up. I don't want it to fall over now. So while that's drying, we're going to work on our second one. And now with this one, I'm going to actually put some of these uh, snowflake sequins inside of the ball. I just want to see how that looks. I haven't really made a plan yet um, on what I wanted to do exactly, but I'm going to use these white ones first. And I really have to like push them in there because the top isn't big enough. And be careful not to break the glass, guys, because that would hurt. And you can tell this is pretty thick. Um, they're not ex 
they're not ex uh, cheap, but they're not really expensive. But you can tell they're not like from the dollar store, like ornaments you would buy there. And then, um, so it is a thicker glass, which I like. I'm not going to squeeze it with my hands and it's going to break. So, as you can see, I'm just putting these uh, snowflakes in here. As many as I really want. I'm going to make a blue one too. I'm going to. I'm going to add blue to it, this silver, or this sparkly, shiny blue. This is because I think that would look really pretty. For snow, you can do like a frozen inspired ball. And I do think I shouldn't have put as many, as much white. And once you do this, guys, there's no going back, as you can tell. Like, you can't get those out of there. I'm not going to fill the whole thing. But I do think this would be cute, like as a little shaker ornament, even though you're not really going to shake them. <laughs> Just kind of silly, but with the creative side flow. And then we're just going to mix it up. And as you can see, I don't know if you can, they're really hard to see, but there is snowflakes in this. And if you want, you can add sparkle to the inside. I think I'm going to just add some white sparkle in there. So I did, and now I'm going to close this before I shake it, because the sparkle will come out. Yeah, so I do like the little bit of glitter in there. Oh, that is very cute. Okay, so the next one we are going to work on out of, we're almost done. Well, that has to dry, but um, I'm actually going to Mod Podge. Not Mod Podge, sorry. I'm actually going to spray paint one of these because I really want to see how it looks. And then I'm going to add gold glitter to it. Um, so Okay, so that is the third one right there. And as you can see, this part is, yes, I'm going to have to re-spray paint the back as well. So don't worry about that. Okay, guys, so while this is drying, I'm going to work on my final one. And I'm going to add ribbon in the inside for this one, actually. Um, so I'm going to make sure you can see it. This is just a plain white ribbon. I'm just going to shove that in there. There's not really a way to this for me. And this one's a little bit cracked in the hole, so it does hurt my finger. I have to be careful. Glass is sharp. And I should I should say, um, if you're a kid, please do this with your parents just in case something happens. And I'm going to use this piece of camel, white snow camel ribbon that I have. Um, my hubby likes that stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to uh, put this in here, but I want to try to fold it in half when I put it in so that the camel part is the part that's going to be seen. It's really hard to get this perfect. I might have to do this a couple times just because I'm not liking the way, there we go, the white ribbon was coming up too much. I don't know, it's coming up too much on the side. Okay. I don't know. I might not I might change this guys. This is just an idea. I've never tried this before. I used to make ornaments with my mom all the time when I was younger and we'd just paint them with acrylic paint and use sparkles and stickers. So this is totally new to me. I'm just trying to figure out new ways. Ow, yeah, see I totally just cut my finger. Um there was a really sharp piece of glass in there that's Edging. Well, it's not bad, but I did feel sharp pain. So this is what this looks like. It's just like a ribbon ball. 
what I actually wanted to do was I wanted to add a bow to the outside. I'm just going to take some mini bows. And I want to add this gold bow. And I want to add this gold bow um, just to the outside. So I'm going to peel the sticker off. Oops. Oopsie. Actually, not a gold bow. What am I talking about? I wanted this white, white bow. This is like a white ornament. It doesn't really go with my theme, but um, just this white bow. I'm just going to place this. I don't know. I'm going to place this up on the top here. Right here. There's a little bow. And now I'm just going to put the topper back on. You can play with this. You can add different things to it. But I personally think that is adorable. So now we're just going to um, add some more spray paint to the other side. I'm going to put this down and have it rest on that. Oops, I don't want to spray. sparkles over the whole thing I just kind of I don't know I want it to look kind of rustic and I don't know if this is going to work out the way I want it to but we will find out of course so right now it's just looking kind of dank actually um I will check back in a bit after it's dry and we'll see how it's going um spray paint the back Okay guys, so I actually found these little foamy letters and I don't have A to Z in all colors so I'm going to have to mix the colors. Okay guys, so I'm not too sure when that died, as my camera died, but um, this is what I ended up with. I think that's really cute. I'm just going to add the string back on, and then I'll be back with the um, other circle ornament to finish it up on the other side.
Okay guys, so these are the finished uh, finished um, ornaments that I've done. There is this one right here. I think that is so cute. Um, I just love it. Uh, this one I might still change. I do, I do like the ribbon in a way it's different, but it's just not my thing. This one, as you can tell, is not perfect, but this kind of is how I wanted it to be. So that one worked out good. This one's kind of not dry yet. I have to spray it with hairspray just so it does, um, there's no fallout still. But I think that one's cute as well. So those are the four. And then this is my little um, flower pot I put together with my poinsettias. Poinsettias, I don't even know how to say that. But all this stuff is just from Michael's. And then that vase or vase. I actually got from a Christmas party a couple years ago and over on my small little tree I have that other one that I made just right oops wrong one right there so yeah I think this is so cute you can't really tell it's gold because of the light but this was so adorable and I'll just back it up and I'll actually show you my tree without me falling over with the tripod so that's my top, <clears throat> and as you can see it's a little tall, not too tall, and just really skinny and I do really love it. So that is my video for today, I'm going to be adding those ornaments onto my tree shortly. Thank you for watching, as always subscribe, comment below, thumbs up, I'll be back with another video soon.